Hi there. I wanted to cover a new tip slash tool that I just discovered in my journey with documentation driven development. Um, the tool is uh, MCP, which is actually, I guess, more of a, a standard. It, it allows you to add integrations into whatever AI agent you're using. I'm currently using Cursor, and it just allows you to bring in capabilities like deeper thinking or uh, searching the web, being able to see um, what's going on in your browser when you're debugging. There's just all kinds of them. You can integrate with GitHub. So I want to show an example. I was uh, having a hard time with this one, what should have been a pretty simple feature, and then I solved it with an NC MCP. So let's look at what that looks like real quick. I like using real world examples. So this is a, um, this is a real world example of a, a market, a, a broker SaaS platform that I'm working on. And I have this loads concept and I wanna have loads displayed over here in the menu. I have carriers and dashboard currently. And I've asked um, Cursor to do it a few times and it keeps getting stuck and getting confused. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in, if you go to Cursor settings, let me close this. So we'll open up the settings and go to features and down to MCP. You can add a new MCP server. They have a few different like kind of um, repositories. This is one of them, Smithery. And you can find this sequential thinking is one of the most popular ones. I'm using cursor. Um, and so it's going to load that. Okay, that was a little weird, but um, it finally loaded. So you can come here, you go to sequential thinking or whichever one you want, you pick your IDE, which in my case is gonna be cursor. Um, then we come over here and we'll call it sequential thinking. Uh, this is gonna be command based. Uh, I haven't explored S SE yet. I'm sure there's tons of videos about that on the web. And so we'll add that. It's yellow right now, which means it's still getting set up. Boom, now it's green. And it shows that we have this tool available, which is this sequential thinking. So now I should be able to come over here and ask it and say, using sequential thinking, I want you to add loads, um, loads to the page. Um, this is the uh, loads page right here and to the navigation menu in the application section. So we want it to show up in this application section over here in the loads menu. Uh, now, if this works correctly, it should detect that I'm asking it to use a tool and it should ask me for permissions to use the tool. So let's see if, um, if it picks it up. I hope you use load uh, using sequential thinking. So MCP calls a tool. So um, this is it right here, sequential thinking. So I'll say, yes, I want you to run the tool. And now what it's going to do is instead of, uh, instead of just having the normal cursor flow where it just try, okay, try this, try that, try this, try that. It's actually taking some time to plan out what it wants to do. Um, and so it's asking me um, for an, another approval for sequential thinking. And so it's probably gonna go through a few iterations there. And look, it searched the co code based, um, searching code base again, it's doing some more processing. Okay, so now it thinks it knows what to do. Let's see if it gets it. All right, it wants to update team account navigation and it's going to uh, bring in an icon. It's going home. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I think there's more to it than that though. Let's see. So it's got one part figured out see what else it comes up with. Okay, it's done a little bit more processing. It's asking for some more permissions. Okay, now it's doing another uh, update. It looks like it's, um, it's adding a, a text string. All right, its opinion is that it's got it figured out. Um, I don't think I have the app running. Let me run it real quick. Okay, I went ahead and started um, my next JS app, and let's come back over here. Let's... 
and there we go it loads up and now we've got our loads route let's see if um, it maps correctly we go carriers and back to loads so um, trust me when I say I, I spent a, more time than I wanted to trying to figure this out and it wasn't going well uh, and now it's sequential thinking it's working really well I'm gonna try some of these other ones out um, it seems like a lot of folks are using the uh, this one called brave I believe which is uh, Playwright is good for like um, being able to see what's going on in the browser and then Brave does like web searches with the combination of those that'll search the web and then pull in images and so I can start playing around with it as and I already care Judy the same. Y'all have a good one.